For those of you that don't know me, my name is Nicole Navarro and I'm the president and founder of Positive Beginnings. We are the only 501c3 fur farm fox rescue in Key Largo. Actually, in all of the Florida Keys. And, um, you know, I had something planned today, but Statistics you know, facts you know, what happens to these animals on the farms, you know. But what you may not know is how amazing, and I'm gonna cry, said I wasn't gonna cry, but I'm gonna cry, how amazing these six animals are to care for every single day. And those of you that follow me and message me saying, oh, Louie's my favorite, or Jasper's my favorite, you know them and you love them as much as I do and to be here with you today for Rachel to ask me to come all the way up here today to represent these six amazing creatures that I have the utmost honor to care for I can't even put into words and those of you that are out here on the street fighting for them every single day my heart belongs to you we love you! You know, Libby and Louie were the first two I got, and they're still so severely traumatized from their life on the fur farm. Louie has no ears because he suffered from untreated hematomas, and his ears completely deformed, so he needs routine vet care. Libby doesn't have a tail, whether they cut it off or her mother ate it off, which is extremely common on fur farms. I don't know, we don't know. We don't get medical history from fur farms because they have no medical care there. And then Jasper and Penny were the second two that I rescued. And Jasper is four years old. He spent four years on a fur farm being used to breed. And when he wouldn't breed anymore, they were just going to slaughter him to make room for the next generation. And Jasper is neurologically challenged. I have to help him eat every single day because his brain and his mouth don't communicate. And he has severe arthritis from standing on those wire cages for four years. So he gets laser acupuncture and massages once a month from a vet that comes to the house. And then the two babies, there's Reef. Devin's holding the sign. Reef was rejected by his mother this year. So at 10 days old, he was pulled off the fur farm. He was missing toes. He's missing half of his tail. And then Coral, I got after Reef. Her mother ate all of the kits except for her and her sister. And she has a birth defect. So I tell you that to tell you this. This fur free movement, the momentum we have right now is so strong. And I feel like before the end of this year, the rest of these major designers are gonna drop it. Yeah. I wish you know, these people would take the time to really come and see that each of these animals are individuals just like they are. And um, it might really open their eyes if they even had half a heart. So the fashion industry is literally getting away with murder and it's time, it's time. It's time for it to end once and for all. So I'm gonna stop at that because I could literally talk about those six foxes for the next two hours, so. I know we have work to do, and I'm so grateful for each and every single one of you. You know, I, it's, I can't. You'll never know, you'll never know how grateful I am that you are out here literally fighting for their captive cousins every single day. So let's get to work. Thank you. NYC, fur free NYC, fur free NYC, fur free NYC, fur free NYC. Fur free NYC. Fur free NYC. Fur free NYC.